Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about The Keepers 6 by Kate Elliott. Uh, Kate Elliott's newest novella that she has put out. Uh, and as many of you probably know, big Kate Elliott fan. Absolutely love Crown of Stars and uh, plan to read the rest of her stuff. So I always check out when she's got something new coming out. Uh, and the last one she did, uh, The Servant Mage, I ended up really liking. This one I, I liked a little bit less, but it still did a lot of really cool stuff. And there's a lot of great stuff about this. And so I, I think it's one that a lot of people will enjoy. I just kind of had a different feel of a story. So let's talk about The Keeper 6. Because the the uh, the first thing I should mention is is the characters and we're gonna get there in just a minute but the first thing i feel like i have to mention uh is the world building because i've said it before and i will say it again kate elliott the, the amount of world building she can get in such a small amount of time the complexity the feel uh definitely one of my favorite authors uh for short work it's something that i'm not i'm not typically a huge fan of like short work short stories novellas stuff like that because i feel like there's only so much you can do and uh I've, I've recently found some others that i've actually really enjoyed as well uh but kate elliott is still very much on that list of just being able to make something work because we set up a world here where not only do we have uh the the keeper six comes from the idea of a hex which is six different people that fill this kind of uh, team uh, that allows them to travel uh, from the world to the beyond where you can then travel to other realms there's so not only do we have this the kind of the fantasy elements it has kind of a sci fantasy feel at points too because like there's trading between realms there's a governing body that like is in charge of uh, like licensing the teams of people to do this all this kind of thing there's uh, like areas in the beyond where uh, people will meet and trade. There's all kinds of dangers and creatures, and there's just so much, and it's such a complex world that's just fit into a pretty small book overall. This is like a little less than 200 pages. A lot packed in there. Uh, so that was always really cool. Very fitting that uh, Kate Elliott's website is I Make Worlds, uh, and she does, yeah. <laughs> She's very good at making worlds, uh, and so it fits super well. But the characters, though, I think are, are what's going to be the draw for a lot of people with this. Uh, and we, the main character, Esther, uh, the, the kind of the kickoff of the plot is her son is kidnapped and she's going to do whatever it takes to, to get him back. And so we do have kind of like the badass mom and it's not something you get a lot of in, uh, in fantasy. I, I know we were talking about this in discord recently and a couple people actually mentioned this book, but kind of like the badass mom character, it's, it's not something you get. Uh, a ton of focus on, uh, so it was really well done. And the character of Esther, I really, really enjoyed. Uh, and the other characters were, were developed well as also uh, kind of just getting this. But, you know, it is still a novella. Our focus is still going to be on Esther uh, and her goals and what she's trying to do. Uh, but uh, she did a really good job with setting up these different characters. And uh, a lot of the interactions that Esther had, I, I thought were really just fun, her whole kind of demeanor. This just was so different from any of the other Kate Elliott that I have read, because uh, it, it's much more uh, modern styled, and it's, like I said, kind of has a sci fantasy feel, and even though most of the novel doesn't take place on Earth, uh, it, it kind of almost had an urban fantasy feel, like the team who like travels between realms and does stuff like that, and so I think that's where it just wasn't quite what I was looking for, although I still did really enjoy it. And there's a lot of cool stuff here. Uh, it's just, you know, like with Servant Mage, which was more high fantasy, you know, completely different fantasy world. That's usually just more what, what I like. And so that's really, I, I didn't really have complaints about the book itself. I'm just like, uh, especially because I love this cover. And I was expecting uh, another like super high fantasy type of thing. Uh, I actually, at first, I wasn't, I thought this was going to be in the same world as the Servant Mage, because she was going to write more in that world, not directly connected. Um, but it, 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 you know, is the basis of our world, but just that uh, it's some, a very small amount of people have found that they can uh, travel to the beyond, and it's like it's not publicly known, which now that I say it out loud like that just reminds me of Stargate, and that's a complete tangent. But anyway, uh, so getting back to the, the Keeper 6, uh, like I said, there's a lot of that with it too, and then uh, I think people who really enjoy seeing like representation in books uh, or who like uh, commentary in books 
uh, you definitely get a lot of that here. And the interesting thing with the commentary is it ranges from uh, like like promoting uh, unionization of magical creatures and uh, that kind of thing to uh, just like talking about you know reforming uh, corporations and stuff like this. So there's a really wide. Uh, different ranges, some of the stuff in there. This is a good job with the the stuff that it, the, the way it's set in there. It's that kind of like timeless and timely type of commentary, which I think if you're going to do commentary, uh, is usually what works well. Because if you do it where it's just timely and then it won't age well, but when you uh, put in elements that you you see over time that don't really change. Uh, that gives it that kind of timeless, timely type thing. So you definitely get some of the commentary, and like I said, the representation. Uh, there is a part here that talks about uh, pronouns with uh, creatures that are, are not human and are not specifically male or female. And so I always think that's an interesting way to, to wrap that idea in, uh, where it's you're talking about it, and it, it, it it's a way, I think, of kind of like normalizing it. Uh, I've seen some other like sci-fi authors do that with like aliens, where it's like, hey, you know, not not male or female, that sort of thing. So you get you get some of that type of stuff in here too. Uh, and I know a lot of people really like to read books that have those elements, uh, which is why I wanted to mention. But overall, uh, it was an enjoyable story. You get a, a lot of cool moments, a lot of cool set pieces. Like I said, just the the dangers of the beyond and some of the things, and including the thing that's uh, depicted on the cover with this gigantic skull, which I really like the detail too here. I know I've talked about a little bit of this, which this will make sense uh, in the book, uh, why it's designed that way, but just stellar design. So just the servant mage was kind of boring. Like, I really liked the book, but the cover was kind of boring for that one, so... Super good on this one. I uh, was, was happy that uh, the, the cover was so cool on this one. But really interesting story. Like I said, it's just a, a completely different thing than what I'm used to reading uh, with Kate Elliott. And so as I continue to read more of her stuff, too, she she writes such variety. So I'll be interested to see. Uh, but was was overall really solid, uh, really cool and unique story uh, that just set up a lot of really cool things in a short amount of time, uh, which Kate Elliott is, is usually want to do. That's pretty much it for this one, though. So let me know your thoughts if you have read this or if you're interested in reading it. Uh, always happy to hear from you. And I know from Discord at least a few people have uh, read this one. So be interested to hear everybody else's thoughts. If you agree or disagree with anything that I said, make sure to give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Check the link in the description, as always, for the Wizardly Duo Discord if you want to chat books, whether this book, other books, any books, really anything at all. It is a lot of fun and we'd love to have you. And of course, if you enjoy my content, make sure to subscribe. <laughs>